Hello everybody, my name is Zero and welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club. I did not do the usual intro I do when uh, when the music starts off because this game is just messing with me. And last we left off, we were doing the poem. Uh... Oh, that just give me a minute. Just give me a second. I'm just I'm gonna go with happiness. Oh, okay. Alright, so, uh, that first one went to Natsu- okay, incapable. Intellectual. Surprisingly enough- wait, fear? Okay, that works for her. Um, excite- oh, that didn't work for her. Whirlwind. Ambient. Vacation. Oof. Effid- Again. Effulgent. Disoriented. Fickle. I feel like this one's gonna work perfectly. Yeah, it does work perfectly. Uh, incruent. I'm gonna try and like get uh Yuri in this one. Uncontrollable. Infinite. Infallible. Frightening. Extreme. Tenacious. Contamination. What the? Contamination. Unrequited. Extraordinary. Oh, sh. Graveyard. Yeah, I, I basically got UD and all of that one. Hi again, Zero. Glad to see you didn't run away on us. I'd like to know what happened to Sayori. Still. Nah, don't worry. This might be a little strange for me, but at least... I at least keep my word. So, uh, well, I'm back at the literature club. Uh, oh, what, what the frick? What happened to your face? Thanks for keeping your promise, Zero. I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. Making you dive headfirst into literature when you were not accustomed to- What the fr- Oh, come on. Like, he deserves any slack. I deserve a little less glitching, though. What the f- That's Sayori in the back! That, that's Sayori. Why is there a, why is there a picture of Sayori just hanging in the background? You already had to be dragged here by Monica. I don't know if you plan to just come here and hang out or what, but if you don't take us seriously, then, then you won't see the end of it. Wait, does it mean was the room kind of slanted? And did the music just change? Um, Monica, you're in the wrong spot. That's who finds herself stuck between saying Monica and manga. Manga is literature. Yes, it is. Yeah, uh, it's swiftly defeated. I'm sorry, Zero. We'll make sure to put your comfort first, okay? Uh, yeah! F for example, please take down that photo! Oh my god. Yeah, e everything's kind of, like, slanted. Why? Um, anyway. Uh, 
I, I feel like everything's zooming in in the background. Now that you're in the club and all, perhaps you might have interest in picking up a book. Is the background zooming in? Wait, it... Is it all zooming in? Hold up, hold up. Yeah, the whole screen is like zooming in. What the frick? I can't say... I can't really say no either way. Like you said, I'm in this club now. So it only feels right for me to do something like that, if you ask. Wait. I didn't mean it like that. Uh, if you don't really want to, then forget I said anything, I guess. Uh, no. It's not that, Yuri. I want to be part of this club. So, even if I don't read often, I'd be happy to pick up a book if you want me to. Are you sure? Oh my god. I knew. Why is it... Now the music's sped up? Are you sure? I just feel like... Now it's slowed down. Well, as vice president and all, that I should help you get started on something you might like. Yuri reaches in her back and pulls out a book. Alright. Don't want you to feel left out, so I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, holds your attention, yada yada. I've read this. You've said this all before. Discuss discuss it if you want. This this is Oh my god. What? You do think you had well definitely read it. I enthusiastically take the book. Whew. It's zooming in and I I feel so uncomfortable. Oh! Okay, snap back to reality. Yuri's face is buried in a book. Can't help but notice her tense expression. Chance rummaging around in the closet. I'm really curious to talk to Yuri a little bit more. But at the same time, I would feel bad to distract her from her reading. I catch a glimpse at the cover of her book. It looks like the same book she lent me. More than that, she seems to be on the first few pages. Ah. Crap. I think she noticed me looking at her. Dude, I don't want to be in this club anymore. She sneaks another glance at me, and our eyes meet for a split second. But that only makes her hide her face deeper in her book. Sorry. I was just spacing out. I mutter this, sensing I made her uncomfortable. Oh, it's fine. If I was focused, then I probably wouldn't have noticed in the first place. But I'm just rereading a bit of it, so, of this, so. That's the book you gave me, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, whoa, 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 I just... Is... Wait, is it going further off her... F what the f... The picture's missing. Wait, what? Why is there a line clear... I just want to reread some of it. Oh, okay, okay, she's fine now. Not for any particular reason. Just curious, how come you have two copies of the same book? Ah, well, when I stopped at the bookstore yesterday, uh, that's not what I meant. I mean, I just happened to buy two of them. Ah, I see. There's something fairly obvious here that Yuri isn't telling me. But I decide to let it go. I'm not letting any of this go! Her eye just floated off her face! I'll definitely start reading it soon. 
I'm glad to hear. Once this, once it starts to pick up, you might have a hard time putting it down. It's a very engaging and relatable story. Is that so? You know what else? You know who else is relatable? Sayori, but she's not here. What's the story about anyway? Well, hmm. I look at the cover of the book. The book is tilted. T oh, titled Portrait of Marvak. There's an an omnimit. Um, in this ominous looking eye symbol on the front cover. Basically, it's about a religious camp that was turned into a human experiment prison? Yuri! Where do you get your books? I need some. <laughs> and the people trapped there have this trait that turns them into killing machines that lust for blood but the facility gets even worse and they start selectively breeding people by cutting off their limbs and affixing them to oh, okay oh, oh that might be a little bit of a spoiler yeah but anyway I'm really into it. The book, I mean. Not the thing about the limbs, okay? That's kind of... That's kind of dark, isn't it? You didn't made it sound like it was going to be a nice story, so that dark turn came from nowhere. Uh... Are you not a fan of this sort of... of that sort of thing, Zero? No, it's not that. I love horror. I, li I like horror stuff. That's why I play a lot of horror games. <laughs> I mean, I can definitely enjoy those kinds of stories, so don't worry. I hope so. I love horror movies as well. <laughs> yeah, I totally forgot that Yuri's, Yuri is into those things. She's so shy and reclusive on the outside, but her mind seems to be completely different. It's just that this kind of story is the kind that challenges you to look at life from a strange new perspective. When horrible things happen, not just because someone wants to be evil, but because the world is full of horrible people and we're all worthless anyway. Why'd the text change? And suddenly... I'm rambling, aren't I? Not again. I'm sorry. Hey, don't apologize. I haven't lost interest or anything. Well, I guess it's alright then. But I feel like I should let you know that I have this problem. When I let things like books and writing fill my thoughts, my whole butt... What did that say? Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. It didn't show up. I kind of forget to pay attention to others. Alright, so it's like halfway through the video I saw that. So I'm sorry if I end up saying something strange. And please stop me if I start talking too much. That's... I really don't think you need to worry. That just means you're passionate about reading. The least I can do is listen. It's a literature club, after all. Ah, that's... well, that's true. In fact, I might as well get started reading it right... Oh, fucking... Sh Jesus. Yes. I mean, you don't have to, but... <laughs> What are you saying? Let me just get the book. 
I quickly retrieved the book that I had put on into my bag. All right, it's fine if I sit here, right? I slip into a seat next to Yuri's. Ah, uh, yeah. Are you sure? You seem a little apprehensive. That's... I'm sorry. It's not that I don't want you to. It's just something I'm not very used to. That... That is reading in company with someone. I see. We'll just... Well, just tell me if I end up distracting you or anything. Alright. Sayori's not the... Wait. Oh, shoot. I was clicking through it. I see. Well, just tell me... Alright. I open the book and start the prologue. I soon understand what Yuri means about reading in company. It's as if I can feel her presence over my shoulder as I read. It's not a practi it's not a practically bad thing. Maybe a little distracting, but the feeling is somewhat comforting. Yuri is in the corner of my eye. I realize that she's not actually looking at her own book. I glance over. It looks like she's reading from my book instead. Sorry. I just want what I I again? You you really apologize a lot, don't you? I I do. I don't really mean to. Sorry. Uh I mean <laughs> Here, you should this should work, right? I slide my desk until it's up against Yudi's, then hold my book more between the two of them. Ah, I I suppose so. Yudi timidly closer closes her own copy. Once we each lean in a bit, our shoulders are almost touching. It feels like my left arm is in the way so instead I use my right hand to hold the book open wait am I on her left or her right if I'm on her left I, I think I'm using my right hand and I'm on her left Ah, uh, I guess that makes it kind of difficult to turn the page. Here. Oh, that's how I'm sitting next to her. Yuri takes her left arm and holds the left side of the book between her thumb and her forefinger. Ah. I do the same with my right arm and the right side of the book. That way, I turn a page and Yuri's side is under her thumb after it flips to her side but in holding it like this we're huddled even closer together than before it's actually kind of distracting me it's as if i can feel her the warmth of yuri's face and she's in the corner of my vision are you ready eh? to turn the page Ah, sorry. I think I got a bit distracted for a second. I glance over at Yuri's face again. And our eyes meet. I don't know how I'll be able to keep up with her. Ah, that's okay. You're not as used to reading, right? No, I am not. I don't mind being patient if it takes you a bit longer. It's probably the least I can do. Since you've been so patient with me. Yeah. Thanks. We continue reading. I'm on to you guys. You are doing some creepy stuff. That kind of reminds me of a creeper's face. The chalkboard with the papers. Alright. You no longer ask me if I'm ready to turn the page. Instead, I just assume that she finishes the page before me. So I turn it by my own volition. Volition? 
I'm gonna think that says volition. We continue the first chapter in silence. Even so, turning each page feel almost feels like an intimate exchange. My thumb gently letting go of the page, letting it flutter over to her side as she catches it under her own thumb. Okay. I'm... I'm already spooked from the last game I just played. Hey, Yuri. This might be a silly thought, but... The main character kind of reminds me of you a little bit. Eh? No, I don't relate to this character at all. Definitely not. Really? I was just thinking the way she second guesses things, she says... And all that. Ah! That's what you were talking about. Sorry. I thought you meant something else about her. Something else? N never mind. We didn't even get that far yet. So I don't know what... Why that came into my head. Haha. <laughs> Yuri, are you feeling alright? Eh? Yuri's been a little fidgety ever since we started reading. You can rest if you're feeling sick or something. Your breathing is a little... My breathing? Yuri puts her hands on her chest as if to feel her heartbeat. I... I didn't even notice. Anyways, I'm fine. I just need some water. Alright, don't push yourself. We're reading, not... We're reading! Why is she having breathing trouble? Yuri stands up and practically rushes out of the classroom. What on earth was that about? Zero. Did something happen just now? Eh? I have no idea. Yuri was acting a little strange, I get. No. So you don't know anything? Sorry, I can't say I do. Are you worried about her? Oh, no, not really. Didn't you say earlier that all your club members come first? I was just making sure you didn't do anything to her. Accusing me again, okay. Okay, no, no, nothing. <laughs> Don't worry, I believe you, silly. Yuri just does this sometimes, so it's not nothing alarming. Alright, if you say so. Anyway, why don't we start with sharing our poems with each other? Eh? Shouldn't we wait for Yuri? Well, she might be a while, so I just figured we'd just... we'd get started without her. Is that okay? Yeah, I was just asking. I stand up, and I make a mental note of where I left off in the book, then slip it back into my bag. I'm not sure with Monica, because... I don't know, she was the last person to talk to me. I should start with Monica. Yesterday, she seemed eager to read my poem, and I want her to know I'm putting up in effort. Oh, this game's messing with me in so many ways I don't like. Hey, Zero. Having a good time so far? Uh, yeah. Good, glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new and everything, if you ever have any suggestions for the club, like new activities or things we can do better, I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? Alright. Keep that in mind. Y'all are all acting like Sayori never existed. Of course I'll be afraid to bring things up. <sighs> Not to mention, now, now Natsuki is... Not Natsuki. Yuri is acting weird. I'm much better off just going with the flow until I'm more settled in. Anyway, want to share your poem with me? 
It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. Ha 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 ha. Don't worry, Zero. We're all a little embarrassed today, you know? But it's that sort of barrier that we'll all learn to get past soon. Yeah, that's true. I hand Monica my poem. Mm-hmm. Great job, Zero. I was going, ooh, in my head while reading it. It's really metaphorical. I'm not sure why, but I didn't expect you to go for something so deep. I guess I underestimated you. Yeah, you did. You really underestimated me. Think I can't write? <laughs> I can't write. I'm getting insulted about not being able to do a poem. It's easiest for me to keep everyone's expressions low. Expectations low. That way, it always counts when I put in some effort. Blech. Haha, <laughs> that's not very fair. Well, I guess it worked anyway. You know that Yuri likes this kind of writing, right? Writing that is full of imagery and symbolism? Sometimes I feel like Yuri's mind is just totally detached from reality. I don't mean that like a bad thing though, but sometimes I get the impression that she's just totally given up on people. What do you mean totally given up on people? How much time do I have? I got four minutes. She spends so much time in her own head that it's probably as much more interesting place for her. It's probably a much more interesting place for her, okay? But that's why she gets so happy when you treat her with a lot of kindness. I don't think she's used to being indulged like that. She must be really starved for social interaction, so don't blame her for coming on a little strong. Like earlier, I think she gets too stimulated and ends up withdrawing and looking for alone time. Suddenly the door opens. Yuri? I'm back. Did I miss anything? Not really. Well, we all started sharing our poems with each other. Eh? Already? I'm sorry for being late. No need to apologize. We still have plenty of time, so... Oh my god, I'm gonna take these off because it's bugging me a little. Oh my god, my eyes are uncomfortable. <sighs> Alright. We still have plenty of time, so I'm more glad that you took all the time you needed. Alright. Thanks, Monica. I suppose I should get my poem now. Anyway, do you want to read my poem now? Don't worry, I'm very I'm not very good. You sound pretty confident for someone who claims to not be very good. Well, that's because I have to sound confident. That doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know? I see. That is my catchphrase. I see. Well, let's read it then. Hole in the wall? Oh my god, I'm so freaking tired. But he wasn't looking at me. Confused, I frantically glance at my surroundings. But my burned eyes can no longer see color. Are there others in this room? Are they talking? Or are they simply poems on flat sheets of paper? The sound of frantic scrolling playing tricks on my ears. The room begins to crinkle, closing in on me. 
the air I breathe dissipates before I re it reaches my lungs. I panic. There must be a way out. It's right there. He's right there, swallowing my fears. I brandish my pen. I'm sorry, but... Why does that seem like something Sayori would have written? So what do you think? Hmm, it's very freeform. Is that what you call it? Sorry, I'm not really the person to ask for feedback. Aha, okay. I'm gonna... I'm gonna end the video. I'm gonna end the video. It's... I have too much creeps going on all through my body. I've reached the 30 minute mark. I'm done. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the like button. Tell me down in the comments below what the heck I missed in those speech boxes. And like and no, share and subscribe so you guys don't miss a video. And so somebody else doesn't miss out on this video. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.